Johnny Depp and Amber Heard got married in 2015, but split up just after 15 months of their marriage. The couple finalized the divorce in 2017, but since then, things got messier as they were involved in filing multiple cases against each other. Johnny was accused of domestic violence and lost a lot of public support, but things have recently taken a turn when audio from Amber Heard's phone recording was leaked and celebrities came up to support Depp. So, what was in this leaked audio and who stood up for Johnny? Stay tuned to know, but before we get into this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more celebrity gossip. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard met in 2009 at the sets of the movie The Rum Diary, but they started dating in 2012. Both actors were previously involved in other relationships as well. Heard previously dated the photographer Tasha Van Rie. Johnny, on the other hand, was involved in a serious long-term relationship with Vanessa Parody, and the couple also shared two children, a daughter Lily Rose and a son John Jack Christopher III. After dating for almost three years, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard tied the knot in a private ceremony in 2015. Just a year after their marriage, Amber obtained a temporary restraining order and filed a divorce from him. She accused him of being abusive due to his alcohol and drug issues. After listening to these allegations, Johnny, who was recovering from his drinking problems, quickly denied the accusation by saying Amber was doing it for financial gains. The divorce was finalized in 2017. Amber was announced as the recipient of a divorce settlement worth $7 million and claimed to give it to charity. At the divorce, the couple even released a joint statement. Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Things seemed to settle down between the two, but for not too long. The dispute started again in 2018 when Heard wrote an op-ed for Washington Post about domestic violence. The actress wrote in her post, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Although she did not mention Johnny's name, but her statement was enough to cause her trouble. Following her post, Depp sued her for $50 million for defamation of his character. The case that was filed in 2019 said that Heard is not a victim of domestic abuse, she is a perpetrator, and denied that Depp ever abused her. Instead, the suit said that Amber's allegations were based on the purpose of gaining positive publicity. Depp's lawyer said the op-ed depended on the central premise that Miss Heard was a domestic abuse victim and that Mr. Depp perpetrated domestic violence against her. Following the proceedings of the case, Daily Mail obtained a leaked audio clip in 2020. In the clip, which was actually a phone recording from Heard, she admitted to physically hurting Johnny and said she could not make sure that she won't get physical again. This clip proved that things were not as Heard described, but the other way around. In this audio, she said, I'm I'm sorry that I didn't hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. She was further heard saying, I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. In another clip, she said, I can't promise I won't get physical again. I get so mad I lose it. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not f***ing deck you. I f***ing was hitting you. you can't I don't know deck what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. The audio clips helped Johnny to regain public support while two petitions were launched to remove Amber from Aquaman 2. In 2020, Johnny filed a lawsuit against the English-based news group Newspapers Limited. The case came as a result of the post from The Sun's editor calling him a wife-beater and questioning his casting in Fantastic Beasts. Although Johnny lost the case, that difficult time showed who was actually on his side. Soon after the trial began, his ex-girlfriend Vanessa Parody and his former co-star Winona Ryder came up to support him. Vanessa Parody, who was formerly in a long-term relationship with Johnny and is the mother of his children, said, I have known Johnny for more than 25 years and we raised our two children together. Through all these years, I've known Johnny to be a kind, attentive, generous, and non-violent person and father. Vanessa further said she was aware of all the allegations made by his former wife, but she was sure there is no truth in them. This is nothing like the true Johnny I have known and from my personal experience of many years, I can say he was never violent or abusive to me. 
The other biggest supporter of Donnie, Winona, who dated Deb from 1989 to 1993, gave a witness statement and said, I understand that it is very important that I speak from my own experience as I obviously was not there during his marriage to Amber, but from my personal experience, which was so wildly different, I was absolutely shocked, confused, and upset when I heard the accusations against him. The actress further said she couldn't believe the accusations that he is a violent person because she knew him for years. She further added, I truly and honestly only know him as a really good man, an incredibly loving, extremely caring guy who was so very protective of me and the people that he loves, and I felt so very, very safe with him. During the proceedings of different cases, Heard also accused him of hitting her face with a cell phone and shared her photo with a bruised face, but later no evidence was found. Seeing these allegations, other celebrities that came up to Depp's rescue included his ex-girlfriend Vanessa's sister Allison, who shared a black and white photo with him and wrote, You are and will always be family to me. You are one of the funniest and most loving person I know. Johnny's daughter Lily Rose, whom he shares with Vanessa, also posted a photo with her father and captioned it with, My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. He's been nothing but a wonderful father to my little brother and I, and everyone who knows him would say the same. The actress Lori Holden shared a tweet defending Johnny and said she is going to watch his new movie because his personal life should not affect his professional career and no one really knows the truth. Lori further said, to be clear, I am just saying, don't jump to conclusions. Even a pig might not be telling the whole story. Paul Bettany, who co-starred with Johnny Depp in three films including The Tourist, Transcendence, and Mordecai, shared his support for Johnny in his tweets. The actor wrote, Known Johnny Depp for years and through several relationships. He's the sweetest, kindest, gentlest man that I've ever known, just saying. He further said domestic violence is a serious allegation, so people should wait for the facts to come out before making any judgments about someone. Penelope Cruz, who is one of Johnny's closest friends and a co-star, shared a written statement supporting him. I've seen Johnny in so many situations, and he is always kind to everyone around. He is one of the most generous people I know. The actress who also shared the screen with him in The Pirates of the Caribbean admired him for being super supportive during the shoot and taking care of her as she was pregnant at that time. Javier Bardem also poured in some words of support for Deb and released a statement in which he said, I love Johnny. He has always been a true gentleman and an extremely generous and caring friend to my family and myself. He further said I love Johnny because he is a good human being, trapped in the lies and manipulations of toxic beings, and yet smiling and loving us all in spite of it. Next on the list of Johnny supporters is the musician Sia, who shared her opinion about the situation and said, Just showing my public support for Johnny Depp, I mean, I'd love him to get clean and stop with the jewelry, but he is clearly the victim after hearing those tapes. The famous author J.K. Rowling, who also wrote the movie Fantastic Beasts, in which Johnny was cast as the Dark Wizard, and many people criticized the casting, released a statement in which she said, It's his personal issue, and the privacy of both Johnny and Heard should be protected, as they decide to move on with their lives. She also wrote that she personally had no issue with the casting. Based on our understanding of the circumstances, the filmmakers and I are not only comfortable sticking with our original casting, but genuinely happy to have Johnny playing a major character in the movies. Fantastic Beasts director also shared his views about Johnny's participation in the franchise and said a lot of people are accused of different things from different victims, but it's frightening. With Johnny, it seems to me there was one person who took a pop at him and claimed something. I can only tell you about the man I see every day. He's full of decency and kindness, and that's all I see. Whatever accusations was out there doesn't tally with the kind of human being I've been working with. Not just the celebrities. Johnny Depp's fans flooded Twitter with messages to show their support for their favorite actor and called him the victim. So what do you guys think about these recent developments in Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's case? Share your views with us in the comment section and keep watching for more videos.